I have a bunch of drugstore makeup, so let's go ahead and do a full face of affordable makeup. First off, I'm going to start with the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. I'm going to put this down to get a tacky base. I've actually never used this primer before. So this stuff is supposed to give you a tacky base after it dries down, which is going to help all your makeup stick on top of it. And this retails for $10. For foundation, I'm going to use the Revlon Illuminance Skin Carrying Foundation. This is one of my favorite drugstore foundation. It has skincare in it, so it's very light on the skin and it has a beautiful finish when it dries. So I'm going to apply this foundation with a sponge. I really like this foundation because of how thin it is and it really just looks like your skin. Instantly just takes down all that redness. And this foundation retails for about $16. I mean, just look how beautiful that finish is. It literally looks like your skin. For concealer, I'm going to use the Instant Age Rewind Concealer from Maybelline. This is such a good concealer for a drugstore. It's honestly one of the best. Has great coverage and it gives you such a smooth under eye when it dries. And this concealer you can get from anywhere from like $8 to $10 online. For setting powder, I'm going to use the Moira Loose Setting Powder, and this is in shade Translucent, and this retails for about $10. I've never used this setting powder. I've only used their pressed powder, so this will be like a first impression. Oh, hey, that looks really smooth compared to the other side. That instantly smoothed it out. Smoothed it out. So I think this powder looks really nice, and I'm definitely a fan. Time to bronze up. I'm going to use the e.l.f. bronzer, and this is in shade Forever Sunkissed. And this bronzer retails for only $7. These are the Ombre Away blushes from Koki. The shade I'm going to use today is called Heartthrob. And straight away, there's definitely pigment. Okay, that is absolutely gorgeous and just looks so diffused and blended. For highlighter, I'm going to use the Pixi Glowy Duo. And this is in shade Subtle Sunrise. I think I'm going to go ahead with this champagne shade right here. I haven't used this highlighter in so long. Oh my gosh, I don't know why because look how beautiful that is. Dang, look at that glow. It's not too glittery. It has a little bit of glitter in it, but it's not that noticeable. And this retails for only $9. So here's the skin all completed with the full face of drugs for makeup. I absolutely think everything slayed. Everything looks so freaking good. Everything worked together, laid nicely, and I just think this was a very good makeup day.